Next up, the U.S. women have two matches coming up against China in early December. Uh, December 2nd, they'll play at Drive Pink Stadium in Fort Lauderdale. Then December 5th, they'll play at Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Texas. They announced a 26-player squad for these games. Twyla Kilgore is still in charge on an interim basis, but Emma Hayes did have input on this roster. Uh, for those of you watching us, you can take a look at the roster. Some familiar names, Sophia Smith, Trinity Rodman, Rose Lavelle, Lindsey Horan, recent State of the Union guest Naomi Gurma. Uh, the newcomers, Jenna Nauswanger uh, from Gotham City, uh, Corbin Albert from PSG. But the bigger story is who's not on the roster. Uh, some of the World Cup veterans have dropped out, like Alex Morgan and Becky Sauerbronn and Crystal Dunn, Alyssa Nair. Uh, they're framing it as if they're just giving those players a rest. But a lot of people think this roster is the dawn of a new era. That's the way that I am going to look at this roster. And I hope that this is a cleaning of house by Emma from afar. We still don't know how much she is going to be involved and there's still contractual obligations. Um, if she is making those calls from afar, which I think she probably is, that is a good thing. And that she is doing something like this, I think is awesome because I think she has to kind of send the message. And, and you mentioned it, you know, no Alex Morgan. Uh, no, listen there. Dunn, Sobran, Huerta, uh, Mewis, Sanchez, Sullivan, players that have been around for a while. And if I'm, if I'm Emma Hayes, I want to make sure that I do set that tone. Now, there will be those that say, hey, we, we don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. But let's be honest. All right. This, first off, this bathwater has become tepid. All right. A and secondly, the baby in it is no longer a baby. And this is exactly what the doctor ordered. And this is exactly why Emma Hayes has been hired to, like I said, clean house, not start anew, because there is still plenty of talent, but a lot of young talent, and almost turn this page, start this new chapter for this team, and get this team back to where it belongs. And again, get this team back to focusing on what is the most important thing, which is winning soccer games and being the champion of the world when it comes, uh, comes to the World Cup. And I think that this is a shot across the bow and a warning message to everybody that says there is a new sheriff in town, even if she hasn't actually gotten to town yet. And this is going to be a very, very different national team going forward. What else? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how many of these veterans make it back for the Paris Olympics. A lot of people still think Alex Morgan will be there. I'm not so sure. Yeah, I mean, but they, they think sh that she will be there or that she should be there. I mean, I, look, Alex Morgan is a living legend. But the time for Alex Morgan, I think, has passed relative to the U.S. women's national team and what it wants to do. And again, I know the Olympics from the, on the women's side is viewed differently than on the men's side. But I still think, I mean, the reason why this team is so popular the reason why this team has become iconic is relative to not just being the best in the world and having some of the best players in the world but winning world cups winning gold medals in the olympics from a soccer perspective it pales in comparison to the world cup and so while this next summer i think is going to be important in that development the ultimate goal and the ultimate focus for emma and company is going to be on the world cup and rightfully so you like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.